Hello everybody and welcome back to another Gaming Abroad. My name is Jens and today we're taking a look at finally purchasing some 3DS so that I can add to my collection back there so that we can start growing this collection and hopefully complete those uh, 430 plus games in the North American uh, collection. We have a long way to go but we have been making progress with some of the items that we purchased. We have about uh, $2,400 that we can invest into merchandise and 3DS games. And after the last video that I made uh, with the uh, Metroid Samus system, we still have about $2,020 left. So it's definitely some time to start adding some uh, games to our collection because as you know, Nintendo made that announcement that I talked about in the last video. Uh, prices are starting to go up. A lot of people are uh, noticing this. There's a lot of YouTube videos where uh, some people make reference to these prices going up. So now is the perfect time to start finding your uh, 3DS games that you want to add to your collection. So uh, I did make some purchases. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that I bought. The first, uh, uh, I guess, items that I bought here are from a one seller. Uh, she had a bunch of games, so I decided to go ahead and reach out to her and purchase these games. Uh, they're, they're not any big AAA titles, um, but there are some games that we need for our collection here. So I did pick up these five here. And these games, some of them do have their manuals, some don't. This one here is uh, Heroes of Ruin. This is a Square Enix title. This one sells for about $25 if I was to sell it, but we know we're actually keeping these. And it does have like the little insert and uh, it does have uh, the game and it's very clean. The, the back of the artwork is very clean. So not too bad here. Uh, Heroes of Ruin going to our collection. Next one here is a soccer game, uh, Pez uh, 2012. I haven't played a soccer game in quite some time. Uh, I think the last time that I played soccer games was uh, back in the uh, Genesis days when I used to uh, play with my friends. We used to hold tournaments, uh, tournaments on the weekend and uh, another very clean game here. Yeah, we used to hold uh, tournaments during the weekend and we had like a whole bracket system and you know, we spent all weekend playing uh, soccer games or Madden, uh, a lot of sport titles and then eating pizza. So those, those were the days, but I've never played one on the, on the DS, but this one is part of the collection. So I did pick this one up and this one goes for about $12 on eBay. Next one I picked up here is a Spirit Camera. This one I've uh, never heard of and I did give it a go. Uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, you, you kind of use your camera on the 3DS and you kind of move it around like this so you can scan your environment. And then uh, sometimes there'll be like people standing in the environment and you can interact with them. So it's kind of creepy, <laughs> but it was pretty fun. Uh, it doesn't have the manual, but it, uh, the game again is in good condition. Uh, cover is in good condition. And this one here, Spirit Camera, goes for about $21 on uh, eBay. Uh, this one here, Mario and Sonic uh, 2012 at the London uh, Olympics. This one does come with the manual. And again, the game is very clean. This one goes for about $16 on eBay. Another one that we're gonna be adding, adding to our collection. Next, we have Chronicles Samurai Warriors. This one here is not complete. Uh, it does have the game. Again, excellent condition, the case and everything. And this one goes for about $13 on eBay. So we did pick up a total of five uh, DS games here, 3DS games here that we're gonna add to our collection. This one we paid uh, 380 RMB, which is about 60 US dollars. And if I was gonna flip them, you know, it would be about $87 uh, that we can make off of these games here. Uh, next one I picked up here, this one a person was selling it, it was brand new. Uh, they wanted 110 RMB, which is $17. And this one new goes for about 36 on uh, eBay and it's in uh, mint condition. And the reason I kind of picked it up is one, well, it does have Super Mario and I am a huge fan of Mario. Uh, so I decided to pick this one up and it's sealed. So not too bad. And again, this one goes for 36 on eBay. Next stack of games that I picked up uh, was from one seller. Uh, this was a collection of Pokemon games that he had and it was a total of eight games. So I went ahead and picked these up and here they are. I believe I, some of these I already have. So I'm gonna have some doubles. I'll end up getting uh, rid of the ones that I don't need. But I did pick up all eight of these games from one person. So let's go over these games really quick. We do have uh, here, this one is Pokemon Ultra Moon. This one is complete. 
And again, these games are in really good uh, condition. Ultra Moon goes for about 43 on um, eBay. Next we have Pokemon Ultra Sun. Uh, this sun, <laughs> this one is complete, has the uh, manual, game is in good condition, artwork is in good condition, and Ultra Sun goes for about $39 on eBay. And then we have the uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon games. Uh, Pokemon Sun does have the artwork and the game again, and everything looks to be in good condition. Uh, sun goes for about $20 and Moon, whoop, 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 having stuff flying right out of the game. Uh, moon goes for about $23 on eBay and again in good condition with all the inserts. Uh, next two that we got is Pokemon X and Y. So this one here, Pokemon X, does have the inserts. Really good condition, artwork, the case itself is really good. And X goes for about $30 on eBay. And then Y has all the inserts. Y goes for about, I uh, believe, $35. And then the last two that we have here is Pokemon Omega Ruby and uh, Alpha Sapphire. So we have these other two games here, whoops. These two games, okay. Alpha Sapphire goes for about $40. Whoops, this one is uh, oh, this is Alpha, Alpha Sapphire. Alpha Sapphire goes for about $40. Has inserts, good condition on eBay. And then Omega Ruby, the one that I opened up earlier, goes for about $35. So not too bad. I think I picked up a huge chunk of the uh, Pokemon games on the uh, 3DS here uh, for about, uh, the guy wanted uh, $230 for eight of them. And if we were to turn around and sell them, we would get about 265. So uh, again, we're not gonna flip these. These are going straight to our collection. And the reason I picked them up is because um, I was missing a few of these and they're in really good condition. So I ended up buying these here. Now the next three games, these are the ones that I'm really excited about because these are some of the games have, that have been, well, two of them have been going up in price a lot since Nintendo made that announcement. So we definitely have a few games here that are really interesting. I'll start off with the lowest um, price one if you were to sell it on uh, eBay. So the first one would be here. This is, uh, whoops, that's not the one. It would be this one here, uh, Professor uh, Layton and the Miracle Mask. This one here is complete. All his games are complete. These three games that I'm gonna show you. As you zoom in, there we go. And the one thing I like about this guy is that his games, I don't think he's ever played them. Uh, let me see if I can get this to zoom in there. Uh, like the pins, it doesn't even look like they've ever been used. Really good condition. And um, I've never played any of these games, but uh, I heard a lot of people talking about them, especially because they're becoming harder to find. And then the, uh, the, the artwork here, the characters look really cool. And here, so I thought this was something maybe uh, I'll be maybe one of the first games that I'll start playing. And this is Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. And this one here is going for about $44 on eBay. Next one here has also gone up in price recently. And all these three games are in really great shape and they are all complete. This one here is Professor Layton and the Asran Legacy. And again, very clean. The game looks like it hasn't been played. It has all the uh, artwork and the manuals and everything inside. And really, again, really good condition. I think this guy just never really played them. So I was really happy when I saw this and I ended up picking them up from him. This one here is going about $100 now on eBay. So that's pretty cool that I was able to get all three of them. And the last one, this one here is the big banger. Um, this one's going for almost like uh, about $160 to $200. When I looked on eBay, there's no one that is priced less than $220. And this is uh, Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. Again, complete, whoops, complete as a manual. And then the, 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 uh, the uh, cartridge, like it's never been used. Really good condition all around. And this one here, um, I was really excited. I'm telling you guys, I was really excited to get all three of them. This one here is going for a lot on eBay. If you're able to find this, definitely pick it up. 
Uh, I think these, maybe these two here are the ones that are gonna go up in price a lot because it's just getting harder and harder to find these two. But I was really lucky to get all three of them, all three of these games here. And the guy only wanted, uh, he wanted $140 for all three. And if I was to turn around and sell them, I could make about $350 selling these games. But again, we don't have them, so they're going to our collection. And these are three really big titles that I can kind of check off from the list of games that I need. And I'm kind of excited I was able to find them. Uh, again, you can find a lot of stuff on the app uh, here, Shenyu. The only thing I just wanted to let you guys know, because uh, you know some of my friends were saying, well, you can just log in the app, type what you want, and it's going to be very easy for you to purchase uh, things. But um, it's not that easy. It's actually a little bit, uh, it takes time. I have to go through a lot of apps. I'm sorry, a lot of posts. Because again, I'm in, I'm in put these right here so you can see. I, I, I'm in uh, Shanghai. So a lot of the games in this region are from um, Japan. So they have like the little A where the, um, where the, e, the ESBR symbol is. So a lot of the posts are games that are from Japan and I'm looking for the North American collection uh, of games. So I'm looking for the ones that have the E and sometimes I'll spend like 20, 30 minutes just going through different posts, trying to find, maybe I'll find one game or I'll find two, but it's rare that I find people posting them in a, in a chunk, you know? I just have to spend a lot of time. But I mean, that's the fun part, right? You gotta kind of look to see what it is that you're trying to uh, add to your collection. And when I do find them, I, I buy them right away uh, so that nobody beats me because there are a lot of people buying uh, these games and uh, they're also reselling. I've seen some people buy games and then I see them come up later for a higher price. Some of them you will find on eBay. You, you can kind of look at listings. Some of them come from China. So some people do know what they have. So I, I'm always uh, on the app in the morning, in the afternoon, at night before I go to bed, I'm on there looking, trying to see what I can buy. One, to add it to my collection, and two, to flip so that I can have more money and be able to build my collection without having to spend uh, any of my money, which is the goal, is again, to um, use money from flipping things, and that's what we're working towards. I uh, hadn't posted anything in a while, only because um, I recently got married uh, in February, so I was really busy with planning, you know, the whole, I mean, we've been planning the wedding for a year, but you know, as, as it gets closer to the la that one last month, we got so much to do, so many things to buy, to purchase, uh, things to prepare, uh, what's, what are you gonna do at the wedding, clothes, everything like this. So uh, it was really exciting. Um, the wedding was amazing. Uh, the whole traditional things that you have to do, the games you have to play and uh, the, uh, the, the speeches you have to give and everything like this was amazing. So I had a really good time with that. Um, uh, winnings are expensive here, but uh, it's amazing just the whole experience. And finally, I was able to um, sit down, remodel this area of the uh, living room and kind of get back to making videos. And then two, uh, the city uh, has been locked down because uh, we're getting the second wave of COVID here. So there's a lot of things um, happening. Uh, we can't go to work. We have to work from home. So this gives me more time to kind of work on these videos, play some games, and then get to talk to you guys. So that's that's kind of cool. And uh, just wanted to mention one other thing. Um, I started flipping video games only because I started watching uh, one of my friends uh, who was doing it back home. He kind of uh, would tell me what he was doing. He was finding games, flipping them, uh, you know, using that profit to build his own collection, to buy more stuff and uh, flip things and fund some things that he needed to pay in his life. So uh, to my best friend editor, I just want to say thank you. Uh, he does have a channel, uh, which I'm helping him edit. Uh, it's called uh, Agent Band on, on the Hunt. And I'll go ahead and link that video up here. If you guys can go ahead and check it, uh, out his videos, he's in El Paso, Texas in the US. And he goes through like thrift shops, Goodwills, uh, uh, pawn shops, uh, swap meets, uh, places like this to find good deals. And he's got some really cool stuff that he found. He actually found like a game, a Super Nintendo game that's worth like uh, $1,400 and he only paid $3 at a pawn shop. And he didn't even know he had it until like a day or two later when he looked it up. So that was pretty cool. Definitely check out his content. And um, you know, we're gonna be kind of working together 
and uh, I'll be editing everything, including my videos. And this is something new for me. So it's just an adventure uh, for me to collect the 3DS uh, games. And I just want to bring you along in our adventure and maybe give you some tips or maybe you guys can give me some tips on how to find maybe games that I'll be missing or uh, maybe something that uh, you can suggest or it'll be easier for me to find these really hard to find games because there's going to be some that are going to be really hard. Uh, to find and I'm even going to be uh, picking up extra games that we could even uh, trade so I'm definitely going to have stuff that I want to trade uh, when I go back home eventually uh, whenever they open the borders to travel back home I'm going to bring some stuff with me that I haven't shipped already and this stuff uh, I would I would want to trade with people to build 3ds collection because trading is very important to collecting you know as uh, there's a lot of people that have a lot of games that they can trade maybe they're looking for something else and this is a perfect opportunity to pick up the games that you need for your collection well guys uh, thank you for joining me uh, on another video until next time guys stay safe and I'll see you again <laughs>